Wilfred Zaha has finalised his move to Manchester United. But, as expected, the winger will be loaned back to Championship side Crystal Palace until the end of the season. The England international arrives at Old Trafford for a total fee of £15 million. Alex Ferguson is also hoping to add a defender to his ranks. The United boss is said to be lining up a move for Santa Tien centre-back Kurt Zouma, with the futures of Rio Ferdinand and Nemanja Vidic yet to be clarified. With seven days until the transfer window closes, time is running out for Andre Vias boas to engineer an early transfer for Lewis Holtby. The Schalke player is due to arrive at Tottenham this summer, but Spurs have seen their latest bid to sign him ahead of time rejected by the Bundesliga club. About Lewis Holtby, there's nothing new to say. The offer from Tottenham is on the table, but it's not acceptable for us, and we told them it wasn't acceptable. And after losing Sandro for the rest of the season to injury, Spurs are reported to be looking at Mohamed Diyami. The West Ham midfielder has also been linked to moves to Arsenal, Everton and Fulham after just seven months with the Hammers. But the player issued a statement on the club's website declaring he's happy in East London. A move for the Senegalese may cast doubt over the futures of Tom Huddleston and Jake Livermore, with QPR boss Harry Redknapp said to be monitoring the midfield duo. West Ham had previously been linked to a move for former Chelsea striker Nicholas Anelka, but the frontman has now been tipped to join Juventus as he looks to force a split from Chinese side Shanghai Shenhua. Fabrizio Colaccini's future at Newcastle continues to be plagued by uncertainty. The defender wants to return to his native Argentina, but to move to former club San Lorenzo looks unlikely. Manager Alan Pardew is hoping to convince the centre-back to stay until at least the end of the season, as the Magpies aim to steer clear of relegation.